Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazad of Chess channel and welcome to an amazing game that I prepared for you today. It's a beautiful gameplay by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 15 engine against another top engine named Morino. And the cool part about this game is that finally we'll see the Stockfish 15 engine playing the Evans Gambit. And the Evans Gambit is of course a beautiful romantic era opening that we miss sometimes uh, to see in top grandmaster level. But of course the Stockfish 15 can play basically any opening. And I uh, did a research today, I downloaded it again. Uh, all of the games uh, on the official CCR or chest on website I downloaded all of the games that Stockfish 15 has played so far um, in TCEC and in some other competitions and I found really this beauty this beautiful Evans game is played by Stockfish 15 so be prepared this is again brutal chess with the dirty ideas with dirty tactical traps with a really wild wild attacking ideas so as I said it's really something worth to see so uh, here let's see now the game uh, Stockfish opens with the move E4 uh, Nemorino's response was E5 9 to f3 knight to c6 after bishop to c4 bishop to c5 we have reached now the gioco piano of the italian game so now b4 immediately so this is now the evans gambit move uh what should black do black in my opinion has to accept the challenge has not take the pawn after move bishop to b4 we have now the move c3 which is of course a preparation then afterwards to grab the center with the move d4 of course uh, the bishop has to retreat but stays on this diagonal is basically preventing uh this idea with the move d4 white will play still the move d4 but at least the black is keeping the tension here on this long diagonal against white's king so we have here immediately the move d4 there are now in my opinion two good choices you can play of course the so-called pierce defense that um, uh, here uh, nemorino played but you can also play the bronstein uh, defense which is also perfectly fine and uh, black could also have of course uh, some good ideas can also proceed and afterwards with some ideas of bishop to g4 knight to e7 kingside casting but in many occasions it's really hard for black to secure the king by casting especially because in the near future this bishop comes to a3 and creates also some tactical damage okay here in the continuation as we said uh Nemorino played the pierce defense of the evans gambit with the move e takes d4 and now queen to b3 this is now the beautiful evans gambit move attacking now uh the pawn on f7 and also in the near future as i said uh but white will build also a beautiful long diagonal attack here on dashboard so uh we have here really a beautiful attacking formation it's of course a beautiful compensation for the lost pawn so after move queen to b3 we have queen to f6 normal development so here also protecting the pawn on f7 this is a must move now uh for black we have here kingside casting and now after move bishop to b6 uh, it was also a good choice by nemorino uh the most important thing here to recognize is of course that first of all uh we have a protection of the b7 uh, pawn in the near future the bishop can come out maybe with d6 then bishop to g4 so we want to get out with the slice position but then of course uh, the pawn on b7 is a vulnerable uh, pawn but also we're keeping the tension around the square d4 which is now the most important thing it's now basically a battle for this uh, one square in the center of the board for the d4 square so we have now e5 immediately by stockfish and that's how you play the evans gamut because uh, still we have to say the black has some uh, problems with the development it's a lack of development black needs still to play one move and then at least two or three more moves in order to secure the king by casting so that's why stockfish attacks the center immediately is trying to open the e-file because if you take now knight to e5 this is not good this is simply game over you get this one rook to e1 you can maybe cover but uh, now as we said with c takes d4 uh, the knight was lost yeah i think black has to give up here the bishop but still this is completely losing for black so after move e5 we have queen to g6 here by nemorino we have uh, c takes d4 and now knight to a5 and you can also play of course knight to d4 maybe this was also a good choice for black but actually it's still complicated this evans game is so complicated in many lines even if you play maybe the best suggested move by the top engines it's really unclear what's going to happen so that's why i love the top engine games because they are showing us maybe new directions if some openings in particular sidelines of openings for instance even this position has been played many many times in chess history the evaluation is slightly better here for white so nothing would be wrong also with this move but actually i've studied a little bit now more this particular line after move knight to d4 ok 
okay bishop to d4 then we can play knight to c3 again if you take the pawn then you have some problems here on the e file so again it's not so good you could maybe try to develop the knight on e7 in my opinion this would be the best goal here for black we have to finally get out of this mess you have to finally get your king uh, towards security but still with bishop to a3 as i said in the beginning of the video many times this is now the main motive to keep uh, this uh, knight a little bit paralyzed even if the knight moves somewhere then still you cannot castle because uh, the bishop is cutting off this very important long diagonal so you could maybe try bishop to c3 uh, bishop takes c3 uh, pardon me queen to c3 now with b6 maybe to develop here uh, the light square bishop but still it's very very risky because f4 uh, f5 could be opportunity so as i said it's a much much better position for white instead of this move b6 you could also try d6 but of course this is not working uh, e takes d6 look at the c takes d6 rook to e1 again you lose the battle on the e file so many many problems uh, in development black is here so that's why after move c takes d4 as i said knight to a5 was nemorino's choice uh which is now the clear idea to finally get rid of this very annoying bishop on c4 but even if white gives up now the light for bishop still this dark for bishop becomes then a powerful piece so uh, black didn't solve any, uh, all of the positional problems even if black takes now the bishop on c4 so uh, we have here uh, queen to c3 knight to c4 queen to c4 and now again knight to e7 so black desperately wants to get the king into security black uh, desperately wants to uh, castle so again bishop to a3 so again stock which is not allowing this scenario not allowing this knight to breathe so here in the continuation queen to c6 this is a good choice again by Nomorino. Well, here Black wants to simplify the game and go into a favorable endgame where, of course, uh, Black and has uh, some extra material. Black is, of course, up a pawn and has now also uh, the beautiful bishop pair. So, after move queen to c6, queen to e2. And this is now the correct move to keep um, the queen on the e file. If anything else would have happened here, it would be a bad choice here for white. Queen to e2 is a beautiful idea because, again, if the e file opens, then uh, we have some tactical damage here on this file so d5 uh, we have e takes d6 ampasan immediately c takes d6 and now d5 this is a beautiful move here by uh stock for 15 if you take now with queen to d5 then of course rook uh, knight to c3 is going to happen you have to bring the queen maybe here to e6 but now with queen to d2 uh here you can maybe castle but now with rook to e1 again it's very very risky for, for black to play the game like this maybe you have solved couple of problems but you didn't solve uh, every po possible problem in the continuation of the game because after rook to e1 you can play now queen to f6 but now look at this bishop to d6 is going to happen you have sort of a counter attack with bishop to a5 still we can take black can also take but now with queen to uh queen to e3 uh, i think um, the white should be much much better here because you cannot protect of course your bishop anymore uh you don't have any squares for the queen so now uh the best way here for black is to take out the rook white takes out also the queen you can also take out then uh, the bishop afterwards and when we watch now the position okay black has a rook and a bishop and a pawn for for the queen so it could be playable so maybe this was the way to go for the morino maybe in order to keep some kind uh, some kind of chances to uh, to make a draw at least or maybe even to win the game so that was maybe the only way but after move d5 we have queen to d7 by nemorino and of course stockfish continues the pressure against the knight on uh, e7 so we have here bishop to d8 uh, protecting now everything finally really finally black wants to castle black wants to get out of this tactical mess but look at this this is really unnatural here uh, look how these bishops are standing uh, this is not the way to go here although again the evaluation is about equal but it's really unpleasant to see uh, these bishops like like this on on the starting square so here in the continuation we have knight to d2 we have kingside castling knight to c4 targeting of course the weak uh, d6 uh, pawn so we have here knight to f5 knight to d oh, sorry after move knight to f5 uh, we have rook to d1 uh, protecting first of all also the pawn on d5 and now again we want even in the near future may play be, uh, play maybe something like g4 kicking with the knight and finally uh, take out here the pawn on d6 so we have here bishop to c7 nemorino realized that of course uh, this is a weak uh, square in, in the whole position first the nemorino protects the square but now stockers continues the pressure with this idea h3 uh, g4 so we have here queen to a4 queen to d3 uh, 
uh, we have now b5 really a uh, beautiful counter attack also by nemorino so nemorino played in the beginning really the only moves that could prolong the game so nemorino played here really nice defensive ideas in the continuation of the game we have uh here knight to b2 very nice move again by stockwish attacking the queen and what the most important thing is it's not allowing here nemorino to go to c4 i think if the knight wouldn't be here that probably black would have gone here with the move queen to c4 and would probably try to trade off uh the queens again play simplification but this is again not working so that's why the queen has to retreat and again also the queen is on a weird square it's out of the game it's blocked out by its own pawn uh, the bishops are still not so good so it's not of course the optimal position of the bishop there so we have now again this idea g4 that was as i said the only way to make some kind of a progress here uh, attacking the knight that is protecting the d6 weakness and continuing the pressure against uh, this pawn so we have here bishop to a5 a counterattack by nemo you know even if you play knight to h6 here it's not so good i think because you get rook to c1 and attack against the bishop even if you try to get out of the mess look at this uh, you get rook to c6 uh, the queen has to escape still we have time to uh, play also beautiful battery and look at this again i think you lose the battle around the square d6 you can maybe try of course this one but look at this bishop to d6 and now this one comes with the tempo we can take out uh, here the rook and push this pawn further so uh, it's game over here for uh, for black so after move g4 uh nemorino played now the only move went into a wild tactical line uh, in which i think again white should be uh, slightly better because the stock was simply took uh, g takes f5 we have bishop to e1 after rook to e1 we have bishop to f5 deflecting now the queen from the defense of the bishop and finally nemorino took queen takes a3 and has now a position in which nemorino has a rook uh, for the two knight but still of course uh, white king is a little bit naked but this is uh, not such a huge problem because if you now watch this rooks rooks are really sometimes stupid pieces uh, they can of course uh, create some attacks here maybe on the e file but it's really hard to get them here on g6 so that would be an optimal square i think for one of these rooks but meanwhile uh, white is doing something and i think uh, these knights are much more dangerous than one rook so that's why it's a much much better position i think here for stockfish 15 stockfish will now really include this knight beautifully into the game and will now again cause some tactical damage so after move uh, queen takes a3 knight to d1 was played we have queen to a2 knight to e3 we have h6 creating some breeding spaces for the king and now knight to d4 and look at this uh, this one of these knights will eventually come to f5 uh, we can also liberate here the g file so now the clear target is of course the g7 square but also the a h6 square is a, a vulnerable uh, square for for black here uh, so we have here b4 nemorino is trying to get some uh, some kind of an attack because we have here of course two connected pass pawns but this is simply too slow as i said meanwhile white is doing something uh queen to g4 uh, now the target is of course knight to f5 uh, creating checkmate threats here on g7 we have king to h7 knight to f5 anyway we have g6 and now knight to e3 uh, stepping back here we have rook from a to e8 and now queen to f4 and the idea is clear we want to play here queen to g4 and deliver maybe uh, some checkmates here on h6 so here in the continuation king to g8 was played by nemorino even if you try let's see even if you try uh, b3 this could be also maybe an idea here for black then you have this stunner king to h2 we're getting out of the mess we're trying as i said include also the rook into the attack and now even if you make progress with the move b2 look at this knight to g4 is going to happen so you don't have any more good squares to escape you can maybe try uh, uh here g5 but look at this first we play the check even if you uh, go with your king here to g7 still we have this check again check and now with knight to f6 it's a beautiful beautiful checkmate so really really brilliant stuff instead of this move b2 you could maybe try f5 uh, this is now the you only suggested move by by the top engines so the engines are suggesting this move as the only defensive idea in this particular position this wasn't played in the game but we really want to see what could have happened in in this very dynamic position so after move f5 then of course knight to e6 is going to happen look at this uh, we have a beautiful square for the piece and even if you play maybe something like rook to e6 then uh, d takes e6 uh, maybe you can push the pawn further but still also white is now a beautiful passer so it's game over again for black so you could maybe try uh, after move knight to e6 to escape with the rook here on f7 but still with knight to c4 the d6 is the vulnerable p uh, square here will we'll take it eventually so it's i think again game over simply here for 
uh, for black so uh, after move queen to f4 uh king to g8 was played but now knight to f5 beautiful move by uh stockfish 15 if you take now uh g takes f uh g takes f5 then of course as we said the g file will be open we can first play queen to h6 and now we can play king to h1 king to h2 rook to g1 is an opportunity knight to f5 is an opportunity so every of these moves is i think perfectly fine here for uh for for white and white is much much better and should be winning here the evaluation is here plus four almost for uh stock for 15 so after move knight to f5 uh, we have queen to b2 so uh, the Nemorino engine is trying to of course cover this weakness on g7 is trying also to include a new defender into the game but Stockfish continues the pressure knight to h6 we have king to g7 again knight to f5 uh, we have again after g takes f5 again we'll play simply queen to g5 uh, then a couple of checks king to h1 rook to g1 will include the pieces into the game again it's game over for black so after move knight to f5 we have king to g8 knight to d6 uh, Stockfish takes now this very very important important pawn and notice now the queen on b2 is standing again in the way of the progress of uh, the pawn on the b file so even if black gets back to his main plan to uh, try to push this pawn further still it's not working because this idea is i think is simply uh, too slow meanwhile uh, white is doing something especially with these two powerful knights i think again white would dance uh, here against black's king so here in the continuation we have queen to e5 uh, nemorino is again trying desperately to trade off the queens to simplify the game we have queen to b4 beautiful move but also it's of course protecting uh here the knight on d6 we have a5 queen to c5 we have a check not a problem king to f1 the king steps back rook to e7 uh, queen to d4 queen to h5 and now queen to f6 uh, and now rook to e5 so even if you try uh, queen to h3 okay we have king to g1 but the cool part is that no checks are possible here by black okay you had your fun with one check but again uh, now we can again play some ideas uh, getting this knight into the game the rook is hanging so uh black is again uh, losing the game for sure so after move uh, queen to f6 we have uh, rook to e5 we have h4 very very important move by stockfish not allowing some ideas of rook to g5 that could be maybe unpleasant here so that's why this move h4 is of course very good the queen is protecting the h4 so now uh, the g5 square is covered so we have a4 um, Nemorino is again trying to push the spawn further make something out of this um, attack on the queen side but now with queen to f4 rook to e7 knight to um E, uh, knight to e4 of course threatens uh, this very annoying uh, check here on f6 so that's why queen to e5 and finally stockfish decides okay i have enough now i have a good compensation now i have move queen to e5 we can take rook to e5 but now look at this how stockfish beautifully beautifully trapped the rook actually this is a beautiful trap because there is no good square for the rook but wherever you go where even if you try here rook to h5 still you get the fork on f6 so even if you try here this idea rook to e4 that was the continuation still you get the fork on f6 wherever you go so even if you try here something like uh rook to e7 then again you get the knight to f6 we have a discovered uh, check and also uh here an attack against the rook so in the continuation after moving uh knight to g4 uh, then Morino tried this one uh rook to e4 but now knight to f6 uh, knight to e4 rook to uh d8 after rook to d1 a3 in this position then Morino resigned so beautiful beautiful chats uh, you see that these openings are still working it's i think a beautiful thing for us to see that the evans gambit is still working that the king's gambit is still working maybe we'll see in the near future maybe hikaru nakamura alireza firuja maybe beautiful attackers of these days maybe yanni pomyoshi we'll see maybe again playing a little bit more the evans gambit which would be i think a beautiful beautiful thing for the chess community especially because it's such a sharp opening and you see it's double edged you can make maybe one inaccuracy and the game is over so uh, that's why i think in the near future we can expect many 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 evans games games for sure and you look at this these are really beautiful attractive games they are not boring and that's what i like to see of course in the chess community so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game like i did really really interesting ideas in the evans gambit if you want to see more beautiful evans gambit games please check out our series so far and if you want to see also some brutal attacks like this check out our commented chess games play by computer series with some more stockfish games alpha zero lila zero chess games and uh, some more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course